Hi. So, I thought I would do a very quick video on, uh, it's more like a follow-up of a video I did last week talking about uh, reproduction parts that are on sale for uh, your Sten guns and things like that. And one of the things that I mentioned was the uh, Sten gun uh, spike bayonet. Um, its sizes are slightly off, well, are slightly off, they're way off. Um, if I compare it to a regular size spike bayonet, put the, the scabbards end to end, right, so they're lined up at the front, you can see that the re reproduction one is way longer, right? <clears throat> and the other thing is, The retention button for the um, the bayonet frog is too big. It it sticks up way too far. Right. If we compare it to a real one, see the see the size difference. Right. The replica one sticks up too far. Uh, it does fit the old style. Um, uh, bayonet frog, you know the one for the, the, the sword bayonet, it'll fit that no problem because of this, the, the gap that's inside it. If you have the spike bayonet specific uh, bayonet frog, it's not going to fit, right? It is, it's just too small. It'll fit this no problem because it's designed for this, right? And it's a snug fit for this. It's not going to fit this. So, this is the spike bayonet that's on sale from Soldier of Fortune, and I'm assuming it's on sale from a couple of the other retailers as well. Uh, I got this last year at Yorkshire Wartime Experience at the Soldier of Fortune stand, and I bought this because I, I just could not find a real one anywhere. And I've been looking for a, a good couple of years. Um, they are out there, they're just really scarce. And... I couldn't justify the money that they're going for. So this fills a hole in my collection. Uh, if, we look, if we have a look at the actual spike itself, right? You can see there, it just looks more like, it looks more like a screwdriver than anything else. If we hold the real, sorry, not the real one, but obviously the, the rifle spike being it, end to end, you can see it's considerably longer. And this is more of a spike, as that's more like a screwdriver. So there is differences, right? If you try and put this in a real uh, spike bayonet um, scabbard, it's just loose. It just drops out. And likewise, you know, a real spike is going to fit, but it's not ideal. Now it's marked just there, it's marked B and JS Limited. I don't know if you can pick that up very well. No, that's no. So that's what's on offer. Let's say it's about 40 odd quid, 45 quid. Do I recommend it? If it's to fill a hole in your collection, yeah. But if you're going to use it on reenactment, part of your kit display, whatever, I'd probably say no. Um, and I'm going to show you now how it doesn't fit a selection of Sten guns, right? 
Now, obviously, it doesn't fit that, right? Because this takes a regular rifle um, bayonet, right? So we'll put that to the side. So we have here uh, a Mark II Sten, right? This is a deactivated one. Uh, So, as I understand it, I'll show you that just now, this little catch here that sticks up, this little nub, as I understand it, it's meant to catch in one of these holes, right? So, it slides over, so far so good. goes in but it just it doesn't have enough spring up the way to engage anything right it's just not it's just not secure right so this is a real one sorry a real stand so we'll put that to the side Right, so this one, this one's an old AGM um, airsoft Sten gun. Came out years ago. Okay, so if it's not fitting a real one, you'd think, well, maybe it's designed for a replica. So, again, fits over the barrel. Right, back goes inside, but it doesn't spring up. So it doesn't fit the AGM Sten gun. You can see there. You can see there. It it just comes off with no force at all, right? So it doesn't fit that. So that leaves uh, let me see. Right. So this is a replica Sten gun someone's made so this is a mark two again so let's try that one same as the airsoft one fits in but it doesn't lock into anything you can see there it totally rotates all the way around so doesn't fit a real one doesn't fit an airsoft one doesn't fit a replica stand Let's try another one. So, this is a, a replica stand that my mate Paul made. Let's see if it fits that. Okay. So, it goes inside. Goes inside, but doesn't lock into anything. Now, one of the things that I had no problem doing, because this this version here is a replica, and I only did it to one, just here, if you can see it very well, just here I drilled a really small hole, just off to the side, and then if we rotate this round, you hear it click, it catches into that and not that, right? So that's now locked in place, right? You can see there, I'm trying to pull it out and it's not, it's not going, right? That's locked in place now. That is the only way that I could get that to lock in place. I, I had to physically drill a small hole in there. Obviously, I didn't want to do it with a air so uh, sorry, not an airsoft one. I didn't want to do it with a deactivated one. Um, the hole was drilled purely so that I could fit the bay in it correctly. So you can see how much the the specs are off with the sizes. It may fit, um, and I'm I'm totally guessing here. 
It may fit a Denix Sten. I don't, I don't know because I don't own a Denix Sten gun. Um, I might, next time I'm at a show, take it with me. There's a couple of guys I know there that have uh, Denix replica Stens. I might try it on theirs and see if it fits. Um, but, you know, do you want to waste the money buying a spike bayonet that might not fit? So, yeah, that's the only option I had there. Drilling a hole just there. And that's it locking in place. So, yeah. So that's the replica um, Sten gun bayonet that's for sale in Soldier of Fortune. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't waste my money. Like I say, I bought it just to fill a, a hole in the collection. So, yeah, it is what it is. Right, bye for now.